Hello guys and welcome back to another video guide in Satisfaction where we will be taking a slightly more in-depth approach at looking into switches and also how to optimize using them for your builds whether it's knowing which way it's directing you or automatically switching them without leaving the vehicle when you drive them manually. So let's jump in. So first off a switch is automatically connected to the track whenever you cause a track to split. Now we do this by adding another track segment along a primary line. Also a, a quick note is for ease of use only ever split a segment once rather than multiple times as this can cause some bugs although this may change with time as the game develops now the switch indicates which way the track will direct to when you're in the train now do note this is specific to manual drive trains as the AI will automatically switch the routes as they travel to a given station so, when driving a train to a station, the switch points up and to the right whenever the switch is sending you along the primary track, which is whichever track has been first placed. It's also really important to note that the switch will appear always on the left hand side of the track from the direction you placed it from. Therefore, a switch on the right hand side will not immediately affect you until you are traveling down the rail with the switch on your left. But I should note that the system can however get confused every now and then if you're making switches that merge from various different lines and therefore I recommend always starting and working from one main line and only breaching out after you've completed a segment. For example here you can see that I've done the whole main line or at least one segment followed by the next straight segment and then I've veered off with a split rather than doing the main line curving round and then splitting it via another straight um, track. This is just going to stop us getting confused when we're trying to drive straight down one track as there are no other real ways of knowing which is the primary track you're on and which isn't. So in general it's just going to help uh, greatly organize your tracks and also help you optimize your track placement and avoid confusion. Now we all know that AI trains automatically path to the correct station however when we drive we have to manually change the switches which is a massive pain however I've been informed we can actually avoid jumping out of the train by telling the train which station to path towards and then driving the train to the location. Now from there the train will automatically swap tracks and you'll have no issue. However this only works if you plot the journey when you're arriving into a station and letting the train automatically break at that station rather than you. So you'll have to jump out of the train nonetheless and then once it starts off again it will have changed the route and you can jump back in and, and drive. However, this to me doesn't seem like a solution, it doesn't help the situation because you're still having to jump out the train, you're still having to plot where it's going, whether or not it's changing the actual switches or changing the timetable. Um, but I don't know if this is just a personal bug for me, so please, if you guys do try it out, do let me know if you're able to switch the timetable round and then drive the train through the switches without actually having to jump out and manually change them. Um, so there you are guys, it was just a really quick guide to switches in Satisfactory. Hope it's uh, fixed some of the issues that you might might have had. I had a lot of confusion understanding why switches were sending me in different areas. So hopefully that's helped you out. If it has, please do drop a thumbs up and obviously if you want to see more or you want to watch all of the trained guides that we've got, do make sure you subscribe. Anyway guys, we're going to uh, leave it there. I hope you have a fantastic day and until next time, ciao for now.